Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Warchain here. If you're new, please subscribe and click the notification bell down below so you can be notified of all my new videos. And with that said, guys, I found a great game on the Nintendo eShop. This game is called Gunlord X. Um, this is definitely a hidden game that it was buried <laughs> amongst all the other games, good or bad. Um, but I want to shine the light on this game. It's called Gunlord X. Uh, it recently came out. I'm not sure how new it is, but it's definitely new. It's in the new releases. Um, I picked it up for $9.99 because I was browsing the eShop because there's a lot of great deals right now. Uh, there's 20, 30, up to 50% off on some great games. So um, go check those out. Uh, but th this game, uh, it's hard as hell. Um, I I'll, I'll start getting into it. Uh, but it's really cool. It's definitely like a um, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis era 16-bit uh, game that's of the style of uh, like Contra, Alien 3, or uh, Contra 3 Alien Wars, I mean, um, or Super Turrican, uh, just, just like that, or Contra Hardcore, um, of that style of game. You know the type, they're hard as hell. And this game is no exception, I can tell you that. This game is definitely hard. <laughs> well, let's get to the, to the gameplay here. Um, I have changed the settings a little bit. This game actually, um, by default, has scan lines. And instead of the black borders, there's actually like other borders um, that you can choose from. There's a bunch of them. Um, it goes zero through nine, nine being none what I have um, and one through nine is actually all different um, style overlays or um, borders I mean and oh, keep falling there's lots of platforming in this game obviously you can see I'm not doing it so hot right here keep falling ah come on Yeah, there's an extra guy right there. Those big gems are continues in this game. And these little things I keep picking up actually change your ammo. The, uh, yeah, the big gems, they give you continues. So you definitely want to pick up as many as you possibly can. Um, the one problem I've been having with this game is when I go to continue... It's like, I'm not sure what button it is, and if you hit the wrong button, it counts the time down super quick, so you wind up getting screwed. I'll be at, uh, I haven't made it past this uh, stage's boss, because every time I get to the boss, um, you know, I die, and then I go to continue, and um, I forget which button it is, and then before you know it, I'm at the start uh, again screen, which is definitely frustrating, and you want to get past the first stage. <laughs> Because, like I said, it's not really that easy. Um, nah, there's stuff like that, you know. <laughs> Little things that get you out of nowhere. Here's another right there. So it's like just learning where those things are. And there's some cool... Cool-ass weapons in this. So continue. Extra life. And spikes. I don't know how you're supposed to get that without dying. Well, maybe uh, you're, maybe that's the point of the extra life. You're going to die. But it seems like there's stuff all over the place. It's kind of like what to get, you know? I don't know even... Um, I'm not sure what the purple things do. I think they give you bombs for that maneuver right there. I could be mistaken, but I believe that's what they do. Um, behind my face there uh, is actually like a purple bar. It's a meter. And I believe that's the meter for those bombs that you're laying down. It's either for that or it's for um, your uh, weapon that you clear the screen with. It's just like uh, Contra. Uh, you can clear the screen with like a uh, like a major blast weapon. So then, like I said, you get those continues, but then I uh, wind up losing them because I hit the wrong button, which 
so frustrating. Oh. There's another one over there. I wonder you might have to get it from a different spot. Like there's so much stuff. Then you can climb on walls in certain areas. Yeah, you can climb on uh, the ceilings in certain spots and walls, uh, which is definitely completely like Contra or Super Turrican. But this, this first stage is definitely cool. I really am digging the music in this game. Uh, especially soon there's like this transition where there's like lightning and uh, the music almost stops and they change tracks it gets all like chilled out and uh, it almost puts you in a trance especially with like everything going on on the screen you're trying to pay attention to what's happening and it's almost like a bullet hell shooter <laughs> there's just like so much stuff going on it's hard to make out what, what's what but the good thing is there's no like uh, slowdown. If this was on Super Nintendo, forget it. I mean, uh, this game would be slowed down like non-stop. That's the, the nice thing about modern consoles is, uh, you know, we don't have as much stuff like that anymore. Unless they uh, emulate uh, slowdown in a game to represent an older style, which is cool too. Yeah, there's lots of uh, those big gems kind of scattered through the areas. Oh, there's an extra life up here. And a uh, large... Uh, and a large gem. But there's also a guy that wants to kill you there. I haven't figured out how to get that. Let me try it one more time. That, forget it. I don't wind up spending so much time just trying to pick this stuff up. Yeah, so here's the spot where you can climb up the wall. Might be missing something. Yeah, it's like you never know. I could be like going right past one of those big gems and not even. Gotta kind of search around, the stuff's everywhere. Oh, I always mess up with these guys. All right, so there we go. Or I'll hit the wrong button and I'll uh, turn into the ball and then I'll uh, <laughs> get killed by them guys.
Oh, yeah. Here's the music I was saying. We'll put you in a trance. It's like, here's some, like, rain and lightning and, um, you know, some trance music. Um, it always almost, like, hypnotizes you. Let me give you this awesome blue weapon that I wish I wouldn't lose it. It pretty much wipes out everything. And there's spikes there. And then you got these guys above your head you gotta watch out for. Like just try to follow where the crystals are. Yeah, this game has such good music. The uh, Messenger uh, last year. That's a great uh, indie game, and uh, that has. That game's really good. I, that was that's one of my favorite games to come out of last year, besides Dead Cells. Uh, Dead Cells is a really great game. That has good music too, but um, the Messenger definitely takes it as far as music. And uh, so far, of what I've heard of this, uh, definitely is impressive. And I'm sure it, it, it just gets better and better. I mean, this is just the uh, second song that I'm hearing. But I definitely like the effects with the lightning and the rain. Hopefully there's something good down here that made it worth it uh, for me to come down here and just uh, almost die.
definitely a good song they got playing in the background. so close. Man, he starts hitting you right away. That's kind of not fair. Damn it. Oh, he's shooting above me. I didn't even notice that until it was too late. All right, this is where I have the problem. Oh, okay, so it's A. Just a quick tap of A. Yeah, I don't like how he starts hitting you as soon as you respawn. I don't give you a chance. Oh, I hit that on accident. Man. Alright, I gotta move. And then get hit by the green Warning. stuff. Wow, this guy's tough. continue all right guys well i guess that's it i'll have to just keep playing and try to get more big diamonds uh i guess they're, they're just scattered through the stages but yeah that's the gun lord x what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below uh, i really want to know what you guys think of this game um do you think a game like this is worth ten dollars in 2019 um i know it's a matter of opinion but i really like to know um but that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm the War Train, and I'm out. Have a good one.